So this is the second tutorial for the Trinket Box project. And in this tutorial, we're going to learn how to do the sliding tray, um, incorporating the finger joints. And also we're just going to learn a few new features of SketchUp for schools. Okay, so the first thing I want to do, I want to show you over here um, this views menu because I'm going to change the view on this to a standard view. So we'll open that up. And you'll see here if you if you click these different views, you can get uh, nice sort of uh, angled on views or a view of a side, reverse angle, a view from an end, top view, which is one that we're going to need, more views from angles. Okay, so I'm going to go to the top view, and I'm going to change here. You'll see over here we've got a perspective view. And we're going to change to parallel projection. So you can see here it's a very nice flat plan view. Now the sliding tray has to fit inside our box. So we're going to need to measure the distance between these inside faces. So shortcut letter T on the keyboard for our tape measure. And I'm going to click on this edge here. And I'm going to come down and I can see that that's 106 millimeters. Okay, now. You'll need to do this in the real world because the size of your box might vary a little bit. But it, um, what you need to do is you'll need to get that measurement and then take two millimeters off it just so that there's a little bit of space so that the sliding tray does not get jammed. All right, so we've got our 106 millimeters. So I'm going to then out here draw the end of my sliding tray. So R for rectangle. I'm just going to click and drag and release and type 12, 104, enter. So you'll see, yeah, 12 is the thickness of the material and 104 is going to be the outside dimensions of our sliding tray. So that'll allow two millimeters of space from side to side. Now we'll get rid of our, our standard views here just for now. O for orbit. We're going to come around. Now, can you see how the box is kind of looking a little bit funny there? It's kind of got a bit of a funny look to it. That's because we went from um, perspective to parallel projection. So we're just going to quickly change that back, fix that up. So we just click on there. That looks a little bit better. Get rid of that menu. All right, come back into our little piece here. P for push, hover over it, up, and then just type 40, enter. O for orbit. Come around a bit more. Now the the cutter on the router that's going to cut the fingers for our finger joints is eight millimeters in diameter. So we need to incorporate this into our design here. So T for tape on the bottom edge, come up. So make sure that that line below there with the arrow is blue. Come up, type eight, enter. Up again, make sure it's blue. Eight, enter, eight, enter. Enter. There we go. Now the material is 12 millimeters thick, so we need to take that into account. So from that edge, come in, make sure the line is green, type 12. And again from up here, make sure the line is green, 12. Enter. All right. L for line. And we've just got to go and create some lines now. So from this edge, left click, down, click, down, click. Then from here, make sure we're on that intersection. Click, 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 click. And then at the bottom, one, two, three. P for push. And we're going to push these out. Now, sometimes they can bounce around, so you might need to change your view a little bit. O for orbit, because we're going to come and have a nut look up the end here. L for line. I'm going to do the same over here. P for push. So push those out. All right, there we go. So there's one of the ends um, with our little fingers cut in it. 
Now, before we get too carried away, we want to turn this into a component. So we can do our marquee selection by clicking and dragging like that. Or sometimes you've got to be careful when you do that to make sure you don't accidentally select something that's in behind there as well. So you can do your triple click. So left click three times really quickly. Then right click, make component, and we'll call it sliding tray end. OK. Now we want to get rid of those guides because they can get in the way. So we'll just click away so nothing selected. Up here, type delete guides. All right. OK, O for orbit. So now we've done our side. We've just got to do, uh, sorry, our end. We've just got to do our side. All right. So we'll just get a view sort of like this. R for rectangle. Like this. We just go out this way and we're going to type 104, comma, 12. All right. Now, just so that what we're about to do doesn't, these things don't interfere with anything else, I'm just going to hide a few things. So I'm going to select that, right click, hide it. Then I'm going to do a marquee selection over the entire box here. Right click, hide that too. All right, then I'll just use the pan tool, come across, just get that like that. P for push, up 40 again. O for orbit, just to get a bit of a side on view. We could also go and use our um, tool here to get that side on view. That's an end on, we just got to find the right, the right one for that. Yeah, we could we couldn't can do that as well. Okay, T for tape. It's going to come in a little bit closer. Get rid of that for now. T for tape from the edge. Just got to make sure that's blue. So go eight. And again eight. Make sure it's blue. See how that went green there? You got to be careful with that because that's actually going on a different plane. It's got to be blue. If you make that mistake, undo it. Eight, and then 12 in from the ends. So make sure it's red. And then what we've got to do is we've got to take out the opposite parts. L for line. So you get click, click, click. Sorry, four, there's four of those. And there's four here. One, two, three, four. Same here. One, two, three, four. There. Now it's going to be better if we orbit a little bit to get a slightly different view. There we go. Uh, I'll just go out a little bit. P for push. Push that out. Push that out. O for orbit so we can have a look at this other end. P for push. There we go. All right, now again, we've got to make that into a component so we can do our marquee selection there. Whoops, try that again. Right click, Ugh, something's not going right now. There we go, I just wasn't clicking properly. Make component, sliding tray side, go okay. We'll delete our guides, so just click away, delete, delete guides, and then we'll also go back to here, we'll go unhide, and we'll unhide all. There we go, we've got everything back. O for orbit. All right, so let's move some things and make some copies of things so we can put all start putting this together. So we've got our... our side here so I'm going to select it M for move and remember when we move something we always move a known point to a known point so I know that corner there needs to go there so I'm just going to go grab that now yeah, that's worked pretty well then I'm just going to I've got it selected already I'm just going to go control C control V there it is over there now again I know that that corner there needs to go to that corner there 
sometimes it's worth zooming in and making sure you definitely got it see how we're out slightly just going to get that back to there all right then we will select this end control c control v all right now i know that corner there needs to go there so i'm going to grab it move it Again, let's just go in and check and make sure everything is in the right spot. Looks pretty good, but it's very good to check. Okay, orbit again. We want to have a look at the base. We're just going to put a base on it. Okay, so all i got to do there is an R for rectangle. And I can go from that corner there all the way up to this corner here. P for push. It's 3 millimeters thick MDF, so 3, enter. We've got a base. Now let's just make that into a component. So quick triple left click. Call it make component. Sliding tray base. Now I can't call it just base because there's already one there already. So okay, sliding tray base. Uh, okay, we'll go back to orbit, orbit around. We're going to use our color tool. Now, from last time, you'll have the same colors that you've used before or textures or whatever. If not, you can just go and search them back up again down here. So we've got our wood. So I'm going to put that on the sides. And the bottom is an MDF, so it's a slightly different sort of color. So I've used this one here. I think it's called Formica, Formica Beige. Just going to orbit, actually, so I've got a better view on that. Okay, go back to Formica Beige. We've got our base. All right, so there's our sliding tray. So let's place it. Now, before we do that, I'll just get rid of that menu there. What I want to do, I'm going to get a slightly different view here. I want to select this entire tray. Instead of having to move around individual components, I'm going to turn it into a group. So I'm going to do a marquee selection just over the tray. Right click, make group. So now I can manage it all together. So, select M for move. I'm going to grab this corner here. I'm going to zoom in pretty close. Because what I'm going to do, I'm going to put it there. But then I'm going to move it so that I've got it with the one millimeter gap all the way around it. At the moment, you can see there's a bit of a gap up the top. That's actually two millimeters. All right. So, again, M for move. And I'm just going to go on the green axis, one millimeter. So, I'm just going to type one enter then I'm just going to left click and go red axis and then just type one enter all right I'll just click away so you can see all right now you can see that there's this one millimeter gap all the way around it O for orbit I'm just going to change something again again I'm going to drop it down inside it so on the blue axis I'm going to move it five millimeters so I've got to select it M for move, make sure that that line is blue, it says on blue axis, and just type 5, enter. Now you can see it's sitting below the, the lip there by 5 millimeters. The reason for this is we're going to have a part of our lid is going to go in there to keep our lid in the right place. Okay, and we need that um, to be, you know, we need a bit of space for that. Okay, so we've got that. Now, I'm just going to go to see if my zoom extents kind of works. Never quite works. Okay, final thing. The, the tray needs a support. Okay, so I know that that piece of timber there is 40 millimeters. It's five millimeters down from the top and I've got a three millimeter base on it. So I'm going to go T for tape. So 40 plus five plus three is 48. So I'm gonna go down the blue axis and I'm just gonna type 48, enter. I'm going to hide the tray because it's going to get in the way. So select it, right click, hide. I'm also going to hide the end here. I'm going to hide that. All right. R for rectangle. Where that intersects there, I'm going to go down to this. I'll come in really close so you can see. Down to this edge here. And then I'm going to type. So the the... I'm going to cut up for you strips of MDF that are 12 millimeters wide. So I'm going to type 12, 196, 
enter. P for push, because it's three millimeters thick, come this way, three, enter. There we go. We'll go out and we'll come back in again. Okay, so let's make that into a component. So we'll select it, so left triple click, right click, make component, call it sliding tray support. Okay, let's give it some color. So it's MDF again, so I'm gonna use this for mica beige. There we go, that looks pretty real. Okay, so the only other thing I then need to do is O for orbit. I just need to duplicate it on the other side. So again, T for tape, come down, make sure that's blue, 48, enter. Um, o for orbit, just so we can see again. So that's already selected, but if it's not, select it. Just go Control C, Control V. Okay, there's another one. Now again, O for orbit, just so we've got a better view. Move, I'm going to move a known point to a known point. So I know that, so M for move, that corner there needs to go to there. So I'm going to grab that, come in really close. So I've got it. Make sure I'm, yep, snaps on. There we go. There's our support. O for orbit. I'll just zoom back out a little bit. In fact, I'm just going to use the pan tool again. Just bring that down like that. Just remember if you get a bit stuck, one of the things you can do is you can go back to this views menu. Uh, I'll just turn the materials off. Go to the views menu and you know get a standard view that you like. That's a good sort of place you can get back to sometimes. Um, get rid of that. O for orbit. I just want to unhide everything now. So if I select away, so just select tool, click away, we'll get rid of those guides. So delete guides and unhide all. There we go. So let's orbit again and we'll have a look around. So you can see there's our sliding tray in there in the right spot with our base. Uh, it's all looking very good. So the next thing we're going to go on to is looking at how we can design our lid.